All right, YouTube, what's good? Leak all the repair, y'all smash that like button, y'all subscribe and all of that. So, what y'all see right here is an engine. I'm pretty sure y'all seen the pictures and all of that good shit. Um, Irwin Dorsey, I think that's your name, bro. Good guy out of Maryland and shit. You know, I be watching his build. Let me let me get in tune in the camera and everything. I be watching his build then, you know, I remember leaving the comments saying, oh, you know, you gotta get you a V8 or, or whatever, you know. But that was the time when I first came up, especially in my early 20s, and I was like 18, 19, and then my, throughout my 20s too. I was heavy on Honda, and then had a B16 before, that I done had a bunch of Hondas. I done did, I done literally ripped the car inside out, put it back together, engine two as well. I'm just a Honda dude. If, if I had a car to work on, it'd be Honda, because I know Honda literally inside and out or whatever, and then the parts is crazy, because everything is mad exchangeable. Um, only thing is with Honda, you know from the rip, you ain't gonna be getting no horses out of this joint unless you build the block. That's common sense. But anybody who's making a racing application, you all know to rebuild your block, right? The whole engine. Common sense. That's what people do when they build motors. So, um, this engine, I think the compression is low. You could run, uh, you could run, I don't know, guys running 10 pounds, 6 pounds. I don't want to run no damn six pounds or ten pounds. How you know I want to run twenty something? I'm just saying that's why I'm building my shit and I'm sleeving that bitch to make sure that shit bulletproof. So this is gonna be the official start the uh, my build. I'm going to be building a K24 engine. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be putting it in a Civic or an the Accord. We're gonna figure it out. I'm not worrying about getting a car because if I I go get with something from fucking Cold Park or I find something on Craigslist, I live in a city metropolitan area. We have a shitload of fucking Hondas around here, so I'm not worrying about finding a shell and shit. I'm gonna probably find a car with the engine already in it, and then take the engine out, build it, just drop this joint in there or whatever. But, um, so K24A, so this engine was uh, sitting over here in the scrap pile where we got over there, the engines and transmissions and stuff. Uh, it's been sitting here, if I can remember, since uh, last winter. And um, I don't remember the issue, of it but I remember uh, the engine being locked up or something like that so uh, I actually I remember I'm trying to take the flywheel bolts off and couldn't get it like a full rotation something I don't know what the fuck but uh, I took the bottom pan uh, I'll show you some pictures in a second and I rotated but I took the bottom pan off the oil pan just to see if I could see like a spun bearing it's an easy way to see if you can you know if one of your rods is fucked up or whatever check the cylinder damage pull the fucking pan I pulled the pan out pulled the oil pump out uh, if you're going to pull the oil pump out and it's, and it's time and driv uh, chain driven, driven, make sure you take off this fucking cover. Me, I'm not worrying about the oil pump because that's... I'm building a fucking engine, so it don't fucking matter. So, just to see if it's fun bearing, so I'm just trying to figure out if the walls is cool. What the fuck is going on? Because if the walls is fucked up, the shit try to go through the fucking block. I can't use this shit. But if it's something like a spun bearing or uh, something mechanically that ain't do too much damage, this shit can be fucking built. So let me rotate this engine around. Um, so I, I said the bottom part of the motor, I didn't see uh, anything you know, crazy, no spun bearing or nothing like that. Uh, the crank got like a little, it, it walks from like, you know, side to side, just a tad bit. Um, I don't know if that's normal. Makes, uh, I didn't check on the specifications or nothing like that. Some engines you can have a tad bit play in the crank just a little bit, but it ain't enough. You gotta really like move it with like a pry bar and shit. You can't really move it by hand. So as long as you can't move it by hand, I guess you Gucci and shit. I'm rebuilding a motor. I don't I don't really don't care. So I noticed, um, let me spin this around. I was gonna take the timing cover off, but my air gun ain't strong enough to get this crank boat off. We all see uh, that uh, one of my Honda vids, I got it off with the Honda tool. Uh, I'll probably wait till uh, fucking Monday to get this off or probably tomorrow. I don't know. I, I just want to see what's going on and shit. So I'm like, the cylinder walls is cool. The bottom part is cool. But what the hell is going on? I noticed the chain got slack in it. You can see right here. I can move it with my hand. I'm not supposed to have slack right here. Not only that, if I move it back, you can see the chain lift up right here. So I checked the timing. There are some indications, little notches on the uh, crank pulley. You go by the one and one that's at for the zero degree. And then uh, follow the mark right here. 
And then uh, I guess there's some like fucking points. Just make sure the shit is at TDC and the vibes are up and shit. So um, in this case, the timing was already off. More so this side was more off than that side. So I'm like, what if the fucking bob bobs are bent at the top? Because it seems like when the pistons come up at the top, especially in cylinder one and in cylinder four, uh, that's what seemed like to me, it gave me a little, I'm like, dang, that's, it, it, when it's the, the two and three, they rotate cool, but when they go back up to TDC on one and four, I'm like, what the, something gotta be up with the head. So I'm like, if the timing is off, I know for a fact the bob's gotta be fucking bent. But, so I took the exhaust manifold off, uh, I checked the valves on that side, uh, it's two valves per cylinder, exhaust side and cam side. So I checked the valves, the valves didn't look bent. Um, I checked it on this side too, valves didn't look bent. So, uh, exhaust side is cool. Actually, let me get down to the root of it, let me spin this over. So y'all can see. So I noticed, I want to get the camera closer in a second, but I noticed I peeked at each cylinder and I'm looking and I'm like, one valve is kind of, the other valves are kind of like, you know how from, got a little oil residue or it's coated with something oil, a little bit. Well, this one, it's one valve slides up and uh, cylinder number one on the intake side. So, so, and, so I'm looking and, and like, I keep looking. The exhaust valve is dry too. But I'm like, these motherfuckers are stuck open. We got mechanical problems. We got mechanical problems. Enough getting all of that extra shit. So I know, so I'm rotating the crank and I'm watching while the engine lock up. When I get to a certain point, the, uh, Basically, the valve on the exhaust side and the valve on the intake side, they touch each other. The only way they can touch each other, unless the timing uh, went out of sync, and that's what happens when you don't time shit right. You can bend valves, fuck up valves. I can see a little chip on one side of the valve where it meets the other one, like a little friction mark, uh, but it definitely uh, locks up. So it looks like both valves uh, is making contact on this side, um, Bob's are probably touching another cylinder so I didn't really get around to checking that. So I'm gonna just keep on rotating. And like I said, I'm gonna get the camera, actually I'm gonna face the camera closer now. So that way y'all can see the valves touching. It'd be good for any uh, like tech students and shit who wanna you know, get into engine building. You wanna know what bent valves or valves when, it's, when the engine is out of sync, you know what to look for. So let's go ahead and get that set up. So I'm set up. I'm gonna try to adjust the uh, tripod up so you can see right there and we're going to zoom in i'm running short because i got to delete some uh some some shit so if we can see right there i'm going to try to get it closer so that way you can see more so pay attention right there i know it's shitty but bear with me i zoomed in i lose quality so if you can let me i'm gonna keep rotating this around You can tell it was way out of the sink because some of the valves, when a load like this shit, just all out of fucking sink. Don't move when it's supposed to. So, all right, I'm getting in the move now, as you can see. Now, there's a white, as you, let me go backwards so you can see. So that little white, extra white joint in the background that you see, that's the exhaust valve. What we're looking at right here is the intake valve. So I'm going to keep going down and you should see it touch. See it right there, that back one that just came up? See how it jumped up? Watch it jump up, just like that. Uh huh. Hear it? So, rotate it around more. Um, this side is touching too. I'm not sure if number four is touching, but it's enough. I, I'm not even gonna continue with this shit because it's enough to I need a new fucking head. A new fucking head. So I'm gonna put a K20 head in there. Or I'll just show them uh, if you look inside of here. Yeah. Both valves are touching in the back. Oh, smacks. Yeah, yeah look at that one. That's crazy is, right there. Wow, this video looks good, right. too. The timing is off pretty much. That's probably what had happened, the timing. So the hit, so the, the valve's hitting, and that's probably what locked it up? Yeah, it, that's what it touches me that mm. that point and locks it up. 
So you leave him one and four. The head on it? I'm not gonna use his head over. No, I'm no, a, I'm saying we go get a we go get a head, put it on there. No, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take the block because I'm gonna put better pistons in there. Oh, you wanna jazz it up? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna beef, beef it up a turbo. What, what did it form so? Uh, I mean it's a popular build, uh, K24 build, and I'm gonna build it, put some low compression pistons oh, so in it for 2. turbo. Oh, 2.4, right? 2.4. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so, yeah a lot yeah. of guys like this engine. So yeah, I got plans. I want to build the block, put some. I want to do a uh, what they call it, a K24, K K24 and slash K20. Frank swap with the, call it a Frank swap because the head is from a K20 from an RSX and the bottom end is from your Accord or a Honda, Mint, Honda Element or whatever you drive or CRV and shit. So, and, and in Accord, of course. So, gonna get it dressed up for turbo, low compression pistons in there. Gonna, of course, rods, pistons, bearings, all of that. You, you get what I'm saying. The head, I'm gonna put new springs in it uh, so that way I can rev higher. The RSX, I think they can rev up to what eight, nine grand or something like eight grand, I, I believe, because I remember I had a K20 Z3 and an 08 Honda Civic SI. I missed that car. Had that car for like literally like three, four months, and then I traded it in. But uh, yeah, that one rev high, so I won't be able to rev to like nine grand. So I'm definitely going to change out the springs. Uh, definitely going to. Uh, I don't know why I keep on talking. Let me change the camera position so we can continue. Sorry, guys. So yeah, as I was saying, I'm um, just going to build the uh, the head up, get it ready for turbos. Uh, I want to uh, remove the camshafts. These ones are sick because it kind of got score marks on it. Probably a high mileage engine. I really don't care because, like I'm said, I'm fucking building it. I just wanted to make sure the cylinder walls ain't fucked up. I uh, was able to see, freak at it from the top, and uh, from more so the bottom. I can see real good at the bottom. And, uh, you know, peek inside of here, peek in there. But uh, I could take the head off too to see the top part of the. But if the valves are bent, how can the cylinder walls be damaged? I don't got no play in the rods and nothing like that. The bearing ain't spun. So this, I'm, I'm, I made out good. I could, I could rebuild this engine. So I got this engine for free. It was sitting in there. That we, got, we get people who we, we scrap it. They probably give us like 15. So somebody gave me like $20 for a transmission. But we don't we ain't give what, like $15, $20. Because fuck it, I'll take it and shit. Up, build it up. So these engines probably you could get one if I could see for... $500 just the engine only, and it go up to like $1,000 and shit. It all depends if it come with accessories and all of that shit. Looks like I gotta be buying everything separately. I don't care, I'm a Honda dude, it is what it is. So, uh, yeah, I wanna be building uh, building this engine so it could take me. I do this shit, I, you know, I, fu I fuck with cars, you know, every day and shit, and um, I don't see why this build would take me that damn long and shit. So uh, probably Monday, I'm gonna get some numbers together because I got I was gonna buy B20 today, but I changed my mind like two days ago, last minute, decided that I'd rather take that K20 K series over a B series and shit. So uh, um, yeah, I ain't gonna be able to get it this damn. I ain't gonna be able to get a K series for nothing. So luckily I'm a mechanic. I work out good. So I wanna get my build list together. I wanna save my save my build list. My parts list for my uh, B series. Maybe I build like a prototype too, like a Mark II or something. We call this Mark I on some Tony Stark shit. And uh, what horsepower I'm looking for? Probably up to uh, 400 range. And uh, nah, it shouldn't be hard. It's not hard to achieve. Definitely, you should get it ready. And I definitely want to build. I don't be like you don't have to build it this way to get for something. Well, how you know somebody uh, pull out something crazy? Running 11s and shit, and I gotta turn my shit up and my boost up. I won't be able to turn my boost up or spray it down with some nitrous and shit, and then at the end of the race, my block be cooling. I'm still cool and shit. So, uh, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm still thrilled. So, we'll get parts list together, and by the week, uh, I'll start uh, buying shit. Yeah, start buying, yeah, literally by the week, I'll just start buying shit to speed this up. So, we'll have a video every week for this. When I take it to the machine shop, I'll fucking, uh, I'll fucking film it. So, what I'm gonna do is when I take it to the machine shop, I want them to talk louder because the press on. Uh, gonna, uh, I want them to measure the cylinder walls because if they need to get bored out, then fuck it, they need to get bored out. But matter of fact, I want to bore it out, maybe 20 over or something if it ain't too bad. But uh, bore it out so that way the walls can be straight. You know, I ain't got no problems and shit. Yeah, I'm gonna, Maybe, maybe get it honed down. No, but I want it. I, I really want it bored because I want straight walls. So I want bored, sleeve it. Of 
course, you know, get the right size pistons in there, rods, bearings, all of that. Uh, crankshaft, um, I, I am going to put a new crankshaft in it because the crankshaft is, uh, is, is under $200, maybe like $150 for like one something or whatever. So I'll, I'll buy new, uh, definitely. Gotta find a K20 head. I know guys probably want like five, six hundred dollars for it or whatever, but I'm definitely probably gonna try to uh, finesse somebody, finesse the price on them and shit. Maybe I'll find somebody on Craigslist. Who knows, I, I, I really don't know and shit. So, um, shit, maybe I'll find a rec RSX and co-part or something like that. And I, I got more parts or, or I'll find an RSX I could put back together or a Hondo core, like a O3 body style, cause this pretty much what it came out of. And uh, yeah, that's that. So part one, uh, part two, we'll find something next week or whatever. But I got to get my build list together between the night and the morrow. Uh, yeah, get my parts list together. And if any guys, you know, any cheap vendors or something like that, something uh, reputable. Erwin, I know you know some. Erwin, leave me your thoughts in the comment section. And uh, yeah, we're going to, you know, keep posting these joints and shit. So K24, A4 build. We're gonna turn the K24 bottom end built up with the K20 head, uh, just because the head flow, the head flow a lot better in the K, in the K20 and shit. And too, I want to hear my VTEC too. I want to feel it actually. I know it's kind of young boys. We gotta get over the whole VTEC phase, but the fuck is a Honda without VTEC? You feel me? Well, we out of here. I'll holla at y'all.